receive this heat sinks guys just in uh, package the other ones it's been delaying forever six and a half by six and a half but these ones are 10 by 10 doesn't look too big but it's a lot bigger equipment so i'm gonna try this on one and see if it works also i received my thermal pads that it's one and a half millimeter um that will be good to upgrade all right let's get Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we'll be repla uh, replacing thermal pot and thermal paste and installing the heat sinks in this unit uh, K0 Pro number four. And we'll try to overclock it and we'll see if uh, we can get it done with this 10 by 10 heat sinks. It's a little, little larger, so we'll have to modify them in order uh, to make them work. <laughs> spread out this leaves this <laughs> The temperature seems fine um, on this number four. Uh, so everything looking good. So we, uh, yeah. So we can try the 300. Uh, I'm gonna start with 320 probably version. I don't wanna go right away to 340. So let's get that one updated and see how we're gonna run on the chip. They look at pretty cool right now. Um, yeah, so they're about 46, 47. All right, so it's gonna restart. We'll come back, check it out the temperature. I'll be watching. All right, so we just started out.
here at 5200 RPM uh, for my number four fan. Yeah, let's keep it up 5200 and we'll see if we need to uh, add more. Yeah, 13 is our smallest, I think. We should have right there. 15 is the best. So we're running our fan at 5300 RPM. Alright, so we good. Uh, we, sh we should keep it up to 13 miles per hour. So let's check the temperature. Actually, so far we are uh, Six minutes, nine minutes started at 320, and then right here, nine minutes, so yeah, 324, number four, the temperatures on the chips looks good. So yeah, I don't think uh, we have any issues uh, so far. I mean, it's only nine minutes, of course, so, but we're gonna keep the speed above 13 miles per hour on this uh, device and see how it runs. And